Hey, what is going on guys? It's Carter from the original FIFA HD and this is our way to Wembley episode. Haven't uploaded one of these in about a week and a half, two weeks, so if you do enjoy this episode I do apologise for not uploading it. But as you can see we are just hoping to pack to get some bronze contracts instead of buying them because they are quite uh, about 400 coins to go one so the bronze four this packs 400 coins um to get three two to three contracts that is pretty good for three players. So we do have to open another one though because we did only get two in that one. But last um, episode we did in fact lose on DNF three 0 because uh, something happened. He got, I don't disconnect from EK servers. I think I can't really remember. And then we come back onto a win. Um, so that's that was a pretty good. So our team should, moral should be pretty high. If not very high, it should be high because we are in Division Three with a gold, bronze, and silver team. Where I come up against pretty hard um, gold teams to be honest. Um, like the one I'm about to show you now. And I'm just gonna point this from a, if you see if you look at his um. Gavinio, just normal, and then Wayne Rooney, Walcott, and Mata, um, Reina, and Terry have all got attacking cards on them, or defending, whatever. They've got all running attacking cards on them, just to make them better. So, Walcott's probably got about 97 pace now, so he's fast, a lot faster. Gavinio never did up, so he's at the same. Um, Reina's obviously got um, better things. If he's, got, if, he's got a, if he's got a gold all around attacking card, which he had, I think it was all attacking anyway, it probably it takes up by like four, doesn't it? So five, maybe. So it was, um, should be a lot better. But as you can see, even his upgraded Rainer car and stop uh, Mikael Richards from scoring uh, from near post OP shot. But as you can see, um, what I show you so far, he hasn't even he has a couple of shots, but none of them was actually that good to show pulling this. But he, I'm sure he was dominating the shots. As you can see, nine and six on target, but there wasn't like spectacular. Just like oh, put it in there, very close. There's all just like straight at the goalkeeper. So hopefully he can give a, give us more of a game after this and make it tougher because he was winning. And here's his um, upgraded Walcott pacing it down the wing. Um, obviously no one can catch him. Scaros does his best and does a header. And obviously it's well wide of the goal. But uh, I couldn't stop Wayne Rooney in this game because um, Wayne Rooney is pretty good in this game. He does try and cut back in fact even though his players are all, all done up and whatnot. He does still try and uh, cut back against my goalkeeper <laughs> Jack Butland. Which I oh, will go into Bebe Butland in the England. If you watched the England 21 games, he did play, in fact, like a dog turd. I was, I did, before when he played for England, he did play really well, so I was hoping that he played well for England 21, but he didn't play too well. The free the, the the goal they scored, um, in Sagan actually scored, he'll have actually on my career mode. He obviously a brilliant player, but he did score, but he, the only reason he didn't get that is because he looked around the wall and then saw it too late and dove too late. So that's just my opinion, but Butland didn't play too well, but more majority of our team didn't play well. Xavi played awful. And um, Redmond was actually played really well, which surprised a bit. So that we need to pick up really. But as you, as you see, I showed his two substitutes because then was the game changes because he does get another two goals back. And Jack Butland does get man of the match of an eight point three rating and we draw two two. So we've gone we've got one, one, one. One win, one draw, one loss. Hopefully in the next game we can get uh, back bounce back to a win to get us to seven points, so it's closer to staying up in the division. Because even if we don't get promoted, we can still stay up and re relieve this. But with seven games remaining, and we only need twelve points, which is another eight points. Um, but yeah, another eight points to get promoted. We should be able to do. It. We only need to win two games. Um, yeah, we need to win two games and draw two if we really want to. We should really win three games. We, should, we can win. We can draw two. Beg pardon. We can draw two and win two. And we'll still get promoted, but I would like to win the title because every I think every um, division so far I've won the title, and I would still like to win the title. Next episode, um, this episode I don't buy players. You can see this is the team I come against. The next episode I would like to buy um, a player. I do show that because that's the first thing, one of the first things that happened, and I do get red carded with um, Bullard. So this is a big dent into this game. Hopefully I can still win the game after this. But he, I did slide. Well, it was all slide, so I should really cut back on sliding down. But I do take a pop in his goal, he just save it. And so, something odd, I never realised that I take my corners, it gives me less to take corners. So I will have to change that next time, which I never knew. Because so, do, it does it again now, because we get another corner now, and Lesko takes it again. And Lesko is obviously a threat in the air because he's a centre back. More always best on headering over midfielders that are in about 5 foot 10. So 
Hope, well, hopefully next time I play the play in my way to the middle side, Lesko is definitely not taking the um, corner. But to be honest, sent out that's a beautiful corner straight to a, a great one from Ben to back post. He hits the post and but does manage to get it again, and we do score with ten men to make it one nil. So I do give him a bit of the violin treatment. Uh, it's, it's, it is one nil, but he does bounce back straight away. I'll just tell you now, and does get a goal. I think it was a bit of tackling, but he just scores, just went inside the box and shoots. Butland didn't have the best of games this game, I will tell you that, for a fact. But he, he played well last game, so I can't let him off by not playing that well this game. But it just means if he doesn't play well, it means I've got to play harder and try and score more goals. That's just my theory in uh, goalkeeping. But um, Ashley Young, for me, was the difference in this game. Um, he's got the pace, he's got the force of skills, which I obviously love doing. Um, well, because, um, ben Tony has three star, which is disappointing. We'd love him to have four. And because Ashley Young won the penalty, we do in fact give it Ashley Young to take. And we obviously now do score because we go straight over his head, which he dives the wrong way. Or he always goes straight down the middle over the top of the goalie because if you get it perfect every time, it, it's an impossible penalty to stop. So the half time whistle, it is 2 1 to me and 6 shots on target, 6 shots overall, 54% possession. We are deserving the lead in this game. So looking good so far to bend back from a win. So hopefully we can get um, bend back from the win in this game and continue our win streak to get promoted. Ashley does come again on the left mid position. Does a fake shot. He obviously not going to do that time. So he anticipates it and waited. But we still get the finesse shot away and manage to score. This is why I'm so glad we got Ashley Young there. Because the other left mid was Holmes. He did play decent. He scored a pretty decent goal for us. Um, but after that he didn't really. He's just an average normal player. Um, he does make it for 3-2 I think that is now. So I was pretty worried because as soon as, if it's 3-1 you're like oh yeah I'm not going to win this now. But then if it's 3-2 you're like oh damn. I might not, just because of the one goal difference, but it does make a lot of difference. I did think he was going to score his own goal there, but he didn't, so we were pretty lucky. Well, uh, he was pretty unlucky to get that, and I, I would have thought I'd been pretty lucky to get it. Um, due to the dummy, and take a turn and blast it with Darren Benton as a cop top corner. And we do, in fact, win that game with 10 men, 4-2, so I was pretty happy about that. I did play hard, and now the work has paid off. The video is coming to a close, guys, so... As always, if you could like, comment, favourite, um, I know I don't get many views because the FIFA community has gone down a little bit, a little bit because of FIFA 14, but basically, it would be awesome if I could hit around about 4 or 5 likes. It's not much to ask where you got Alp and asking for 300, so 5 likes would be amazing, guys. Uh, and I guess I'll see you on my next episode of Korea. Not tomorrow because I have an exam, Saturday. See ya.